hey YouTube pipe community it's been a, a good minute I think it was like still summertime last time I made a video um, yeah it's been a, it's been a while almost called months probably um, aside from like the um, uh, Instagram Pipe Makers Club podcasts, I haven't been, I haven't had a whole lot of time to make videos, um, so it's kind of a bummer. I got a few tins I've been saving just to do videos on, like end of the tin stuff. <clears throat> um, so I'm hoping eventually I get to those. But I just wanted to just do a quick check-in update video, I guess, and enjoy a cigar. Pretty uh, pretty chilly out tonight. It's been uh, it's been great though. It's been like pretty warm during the day, and then it really cools down quick um, towards at the end the night. But it's like it's like 35 this morning when I went to work, and it's pretty like windows are frosted and stuff. And so hopefully it stays like this for I don't know at least until like Thanksgiving or something. But I doubt it. It'll probably get cold fast. And, recording on my new phone I got I went back to I switched to iPhone after five years of being on Android five or six years I was I was team iPhone for a long time and mainly because I used a Macintosh computer and I just liked the whole syncing between all the Apple products you know I had the Mac the iPhone at one time I had an iPad it was just nice to have them all synced together you know and uh and then my mac had taken a shit so then i started looking at options for computers and uh people kept telling me you know build a pc you know all this and and i had always you know heard of people building pcs but i kind of thought it was like something like ultra nerds did <laughs> i don't know <laughs> like <laughs> people who uh play uh you know D D and other tabletop games <laughs> That's <laughs> super stereotypical, but that's, that's what I, you know, because everyone that I knew that built PCs were into those kind of games, too. And, um, I used it, you know, at the time I was doing a podcast and, uh, did, you know, music recording and stuff like that, and I DJ weddings. So I wasn't really sure if a desktop would have been the right move, especially, like, you know, a PC, because the Mac is just great for music and artists and anything that's like that it's it's a great tool so i um i, I built a pc because then i you know, after researching i was like well you know i can still do the music stuff with the pc but i can also like play games or whatever if i got into and i did get into gaming a little bit with you know gta and other like role-playing games so now i'm like the ultra nerd that does that <laughs> But it was a, uh, so anyways, um, at, then I decided to go to Android because I was like, well, I never had an Android before. Um, I want to you know, try something different. So I went to Android and I loved it. I, I still love Android. I still think Android is the superior phone. <laughs> but we had switched back to um, a different carrier that we used to have. And cause I kind of missed that service that we had. And... Had to, you know, we were able to get new phones and all that, so I was like, and, you know, my family, my wife, kid, my oldest kid, they they all have iPhones, and so it's just, uh, you know, I was, my parents and my sisters, they always do FaceTime and stuff like that. I, I'm never included because I don't have an iPhone, and so that was kind of one reason why I wanted to go back to iPhone, and then also like being able to, you know, look at my daughter's location, my wife's location, you know, if I'm. I don't hear from them and they're like supposed to be home at a certain time or you know my kid goes out with friends I can check and see where she's at so that's another big reason why I went to iPhone so uh, first video on the new iPhone I'm sure it looks just like I did on my Galaxy <laughs> but I'm smoking a brick house 
I've been saving this since 2022. It was, uh, this is the Oktoberfest, or it was Bricktober. Added another band, it says Bricktoberfest. It's a fifth anniversary of Bricktoberfest, apparently. And I had got a, uh, the DOS boot with it. Um, the shop I got it, they had a bunch of DOS boots that they were given. If you buy, like, five brick house cigars something like that you got a dos boot and so i have that it's kind of fun but of course i can't drink a bricktober cigar and not have a oktoberfest so <laughs> this is my this is my my new oktoberfest mug my uh, mother-in-law sent it to me I think she went to an Oktoberfest in Columbus, Ohio, and uh, she's just like the souvenir mug. Anyways, this is Columbus Oktoberfest. So, I'm drinking uh, the Bell's Oktoberfest. This fit three three cans in it, so. Normally, at uh, the end of the night, I just kind of have one beer or so, one or two, if I'm not drinking whiskey. Um, but I really wanted to light the cigar up and do a video, and I could have just poured one in there, but it doesn't look as cool, you know. I poured one, and it was like right here. I was like, that looks, it doesn't look as good. Kids are hanging out inside and twice that work. This is a really decent burn. Brickhouse cigars are just a, are a good cigar. I mean, you can find them out about any any brick and mortar shop. I mean, I think they're about, uh, I mean, I don't know, cigar prices have gone up. So I don't, I mean, everything's gone up. So I really don't know. They used to be like five or six bucks a stick. And now they're like seven or eight, maybe ten on some different ones. Ginger. Good dog. She's ready for the cold weather. Great Pyrenees. They love uh, love winter and snow, and it really uh, thrives in that season. She's ready to play in the snow. Hopefully we have enough for her to play in. <clears throat> so yeah, it's been a minute. Uh, lots, lots, lots has uh, happened, I guess. You know, since the last time I made a video, um, I think I had mentioned my son's flag football team. Um, so we finished up the season last Saturday. Um, our record was three and four. And we made it to the playoffs. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> so uh, the playoffs is this weekend. It's a, just a tournament on Saturday. Um, potentially might play three games if we make it to the championship. Don't see it happening. I, I think we could probably win the first game. Possibly the second game. Because we've played both those teams before. We lost both times. But the thing is with uh, the tournament. There's going to be officials. So like for our age group. Uh, they decided not to do to do without officials. And just have the coaches make the. You know, call our, our own penalties. Which you know, the kids are learning the game. So they're going to accidentally tackle somebody. Or. Or whatever so we really didn't call those kind of penalties um unless it was like pretty bad you know there was a, i think the one game we had to miss because we were on like a, a weekend vacation thing um one kid like went and tackled our quarterback and 
So we decided, we we're like, oh, we're going to redo that play because he didn't even try pulling the flag. He just like went up and put his arms around him. It was like a whole thing, I guess, which I didn't, wasn't there. So, um, but that's the team we're playing first, and then, and then uh, we'll play the our second team. If we make it, would be the second, they, we played them before, and they're pretty good. But I think with officials, we might have might have made it. <clears throat> we could have beat them, maybe. I think it was a closer game. It wasn't that bad. But they're also undefeated. And then the other undefeated team, uh, they have like 12 kids on their team. And it's only six on the field, so they had enough to do on offense and a defense. Like, offense played. As soon as they were done, the, they brought the defense out and completely changed the the kids on, on the field. So it was just crazy how, how some teams have, you know, just stacked numbers of kids. And we end up having nine or nine or ten I think there's one kid that just didn't play um he was like shy or something so it's been a good time I've uh, been having a lot of fun coaching that's for sure teaching this the sport and ho hoping my son wants to play again next year this year he's you know he's learning and he's kind of having fun but he says it's hard and next year he'll be in like the a higher age group which is kind of sucks because this was his first year and I kind of wish I started him a little bit sooner but um started uh school I decided to go back to college so that's cool um yeah i've told a few few friends i talked to in the community that you know i mentioned that to them um made the decision be, like my my wife was just telling me one night she said you should go back to school you know or whatever and i was thinking like at the time i just turned 34 last month and i was like i'm 33 i don't really I don't know if I, you know, have the time to go back to school. We got, you know, kids and all that stuff, and I just don't, I just don't think it's smart to go back to school. And, uh, I don't know. I, was, I almost had, a, you know, that feeling like I was, I'm, I'm too old to go back to school. But the company I work for, they uh, do an annual meeting every year, wherever the whole, you know, they shut down all the plants and everyone meets at the same um, conference center or whatever we're there all day we have breakfast we eat lunch um, and do different breakout sessions and this is my first year doing it and i loved it i thought it was cool i got to learn a lot about the company I got to see some people that i don't see every day you know like i have some friends that work for the same company and they're in different plants so i don't see them ever and so it's kind of cool to see just see everybody come together for this big event that they do every year and you know, the president has some opening words and then the ceo he closes with some words and uh, one thing he mentioned was you know continuing education and he said that he went back to school when he was 36 and it took him 20 years to get his bachelor's and i just thought i kind of put in perspective you know i'm, I'm like i'm only going to be only going to be 34 um I don't think it will take me 20 years to get my bachelor's, but even if it took me six years or something, you know, I, it, six years is nothing really. I mean, my my son just turned six this year, and that was back in 2018 when we had him. It's just that didn't seem long ago at all. So it's it's kind of you know, if it took me six years, I'd be I'd have had my I would have my degree in 2030, and it's like that's not doesn't seem too far away so I started thinking about it and I was looking at schools deciding like on a, a major and what's cool about it what's you know a no-brainer for me is like the company pays for it 100% so that was kind of you know the the big thing was like you know school's expensive but if I work my employer you know 
is willing to pay for me to continue education and get a degree that would benefit them it's you know it's, it's hard to pass up it really is so i uh decided i'm going to indiana tech is the school and all online i'm doing a new course every six weeks so um, i'm pretty excited i just i'm on my second week right now i am um, i'm in they do different sessions so first session starts like in august and then the second session is like september and then the third session which is when i started was in october and then there'll be one more session for this year and then next year i'll do three or four more sessions and um so yeah my uh my major is um, manufacturing and industrial engineering. So, um, a lot of different things I can do with that, I think. But I don't plan on leaving the company or anything unless you know I get some cra crazy offer, which I don't plan on doing that. I don't think anyone from work watches my videos. <laughs> well, that's another cool thing. There's like no, um, like normally if you if a school reimburses you for or not school for like your employer reimburses you for school you normally have to have like a, a contract that you'll work for them for like two or four years after you graduate before or you, or you got to pay it back or something which i don't think that's like that here so which is nice but it's a really good company to work for i i really enjoy what i do i've been learning a lot you know so I, uh, I haven't uh, been kind of behind on videos lately. I was, I was doing pretty good watching every day, you know, at work if I had some time. And uh, I forgot my ear, my earbuds. And uh, or I, I normally keep them at work, but I brought them home when we did a do our annual camp thing for with our family. And uh, I brought them with me and forgot to bring them back to work after I got back and probably went two weeks without them. I kept forgetting to grab them out of my bag and then uh, got the new phone and wasn't connecting to my old earbuds because the one didn't work. It was just the one that probably is the one bud that connects to the phone. So I get a new set today and I've been catching up on some guys. yeah school is in full swing i'm not sure if i've mentioned that since the uh, last video i did i can't remember if i talked about school probably or not yeah kids go back to school and stuff i think it was like august when i last video or something anyways I don't really want this to go on too long. I just wanted to do a quick update and check in with with you guys. And hope you guys are doing all good. Um, got some uh, news with the Indiana Pipe Club here soon, right after our next meeting. Uh, some good, big news. So I'm excited to talk about that. Um, don't give any, away any details yet until we make it like more of an official post you know on like social media and all that stuff so all right thanks for watching and uh catch you guys soon hopefully